You peckaroos, how the heck are ya? I am down the beer whisperer. Uh, how y'all doing, man? So I got one I hadn't had before. Uh, Hop Rising Double IPA Squatters Craft Beer. It says Utah Brewers Cooperation, or Cooperative rather, Utah Brewers Cooperative, Salt Lake City, Utah Squatters Craft Beer. Hadn't had anything from him, but the guy at the store I bought it from said he had it the day before and really liked it. So I thought I'd give her a chance. A mighty hop lover's dream. Hop Rising adds multi backbone to an intense Imperial IPA. This insanely smooth, dry, hopped. Ale has everything. 9% alcohol by volume, 72 IBUs. And yes, that's our master brewer, Jason Stock, pitching on the label. So there you go. So let's see, 72 IBUs. I'm not going to call 72 IBUs small, but it is less than most uh, double or imperial IPAs these days. But let's see what she's got. It's a very nice color. I'll let you take a look at that. What would you call that? I don't know. Light copper, maybe? Who knows? The nose, check the nose, Tom. I'm getting around to it. Relax. A very multi, uh, very multi sweet nose. Don't worry, I smell some hops too, but I did notice that mild sweetness up front, along with some citrus. And there's certainly some pine. I'm getting some some orange, almost orange blossom like notes actually on the nose. Kind of mixing well. Uh, some slight hints of pie mixing well with that kind of sweet malt you feel on the nose. Almost like a, a, a honey-like aroma. Damn. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, woo. That one grows on you. Uh, take it easy, Tom. Uh, yeah, it's it's not bad. It, it, is, it is a little bigger in the malt than a lot of them these days. Uh, I don't necessarily mind that. In fact, I'm one of those guys that likes that. I kind of miss the old malty uh, Double IPAs, everybody wants to do these really thin, you know, mango papaya kind of things these days. Uh, I'm not necessarily knocking those, don't get me wrong. There are some good ones out there, but I kind of feel like it's been done to death at this point. Uh, I like to see some go back to how they used to be. <laughs> Especially in the fall, right? It's starting to cool down a little bit. Hey, I love those big juice bombs uh, in the spring and summer. I really do. But uh, coming into the fall and in the winter, I want a beer. You know, it's a little more toothy. So I, I like the the bigger old school double IPAs. If you were this one, kind of fits that bill, I suppose. It's sort of in the middle, actually. It's a nice beer. It's a very nice beer. It's very enjoyable. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of malt going on. I'm going to try to give you some specific notes here. Hold on. Work with me, people. Again, I, I, I'm feeling some orange specifically. There's some grapefruit in there. I'm actually getting a lot of orange on this one, though. Giving way to pine and a lot of earthy notes as well. It's, it's a nice beer. Yeah, it's enjoyable. And the best part about it was, I mean, it was a six-pack. Comes in a six-pack, believe it or not, an actual six-pack. Not a four-pack, not a 22-ounce bottle, not a 750, but an actual six-pack of 12-ounce bottles. Forget this, uh, $8.99. I think it was like 9 It was under 10 even with tax. I can't remember the exact price now, but it was under 10 bucks with tax, man, for a 9% beer. Shadow, don't knock the camera down, baby. <laughs> there you go. She almost saw Shadow's head there. Now you're about to see Shadow's butt. Anyways, hey, I'm trying to beer whisper. I will buy this one again. It's nice. If you get a chance to buy it, give it a shot. I'm trying to beer whisper. We'll talk to you later.